Hey boys and girls, Mrs. Restitutio here to show you our math lesson today. We're looking at solving take apart word problems on page six and page seven of your math activity packet. I'm going to show you a strategy you can use today to solve take apart word problems. Okay, I set up a mat here and you can do this just on a piece of paper. You can set up the top with your total and then divide the paper in half and two parts over here, draw another line right down the middle. And then I just cut out some pictures, okay, of objects, but you can use anything you have. If you have Cheerios or Legos, just something that you can count with in your house, you can use those objects, okay? So let's look at our word problem. It says, Sam has 10 shells in his bucket he has three, three pink shells and some blue shells. How many blue shells does he have? So if I'm looking at this, hmm, this problem tells me he has 10 shells in all in this bucket. That's my total, the larger number, 10. So 10 total shells. So let me start my number sentence, 10 total shells. And then I have one part. It says he has three pink shells. So I know for sure he has three. So how am I going to find out how many blue shells he has? Well, I have to take away those three pink shells from the bucket here, okay? One, two, three. So I took away, so if I'm taking away, that means it's subtraction. So 10 minus three equals, well, let's count. Now I can count to see. Now I'm going to organize it in a nice neat line so it's easier for me to point and count and see where we're at. So 10 total shells minus the three pink shells. Let's see how many blue shells that leaves us with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven blue shells. So now I can find my answer. 10 minus three equals seven. Sam has seven blue shells. So let's look at another example from your packet. Number one, it says Haley buys nine potatoes. Four potatoes are white. The rest are red. How many red potatoes are there? So we know she has a hole. Let's say that I don't have little pieces of paper or counters for my problem. That's okay, I can draw a picture. This is another strategy. Draw the picture. Okay, so it says, Haley buys nine potatoes, so I have nine potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's my total or my whole. So I know that nine, and then it says four potatoes are white. So I'm just going to mark that they're white with a W. I don't have a white crayon, so I'm just gonna mark them that they're white with the letter W for white. And then the rest are red. So I'm just going to label it with an R, R for red. They wanna know. How many red potatoes are there? Hmm. So we have nine potatoes all together. Minus, we're going to take away four white potatoes. So put the white potatoes down here. Take them away. So how many red potatoes do we have left? Let's count them together. 
one, two, three, four, five. So then we know nine minus the four white potatoes equals how many red potatoes? One, two, three, four, five equals five red potatoes, okay? Let me know if you have any questions in Dojo about completing these math activities today. Have a great day.